What's up guys, Siobhan here back with a new video and today I'm going to show you quickly how to downgrade iOS 11 to iOS 10.3.2 or even 10.3.1. So first thing first guys, you'll need your computer of course and then you'll need your cable that you will connect to your computer and also you need the latest version of iTunes running on your computer or a laptop, whatever you're using. So first thing first guys, you just want to go into settings then you want to disable find my iphone okay so that that's one of the major steps and then just toggle it off and enter your apple id password so once you've done that guys you need to go into general and delete the beta profile so go to general profile and device management find the ios software profile and then you'll need to delete this profile enter your passcode if you have one and then you'll be good to go so once that's done guys you just need to go onto your PC then type in IPSW, IPSW me or just type in IPSW come up it's the first link down below in the description so you don't have to worry. Once you're on this website it will bring you to this penguin thing looking you just need to choose your device in my case it's the iPhone then you need to choose the model you both have GSM and global GSM is the one that you sim card global doesn't use a sim card so here you can see two green ticks so choose the one that you want anyone that's green is the best one then you just need to download so this might take a while just save it onto your desktop so it'd be easier to find it might take a while so I'll just jump forward to when it finished downloading so guys once it has finished downloading you just want to locate the file on your PC then you want to go ahead and open iTunes so once you've opened iTunes now you could connect to your PC to your to your phone so just get your Apple charger and connect it to your phone um yeah <laughs> so once that's done guys once you connect to your phone you just need to hit the phone icon that you see the little phone icon right there then once you hit the phone icon need to unlock your phone of course if it's locked then what you want to do is hover over that check for update icon right there the check for update button hover over it hit shift hold down on shift I'm not sure what is on Mac but hold down on shift on Mac it's the equivalent to shift and then you want to click the check for update then locate the IPSW file that you just downloaded which is the iOS 10.3.2 or 10.3.1 so once you hit open you can see the icon that says update you just need to click that button in my case I will not update it to iOS 10.3 even though it says update you're still downgrading without losing any data at all so yes guys as I said before in my case I won't do it because I love iOS 11 I don't really yeah I love it and I need to push out videos for you guys so I will not downgrade so if you enjoyed the video if it helped you drop a like down below guys and always love peace and tweaks signing out